question number 151. Super class spices is represented by, and the options given are cuttlefish, hackfish, flying fish, and devilfish. And the correct answer to this question is option number three, that is flying fish, which is a common name for a bony fish known as exocetus. Whereas the other three options, that is cuttlefish, hagfish, and devilfish, are the incorrect options because they do not belong to the super class Pisces. Cuttlefish is a common name for sepia, which is a mollusk. Hagfish is a common name for mixing, which is a cyclostome and not a true fish. And devilfish is a common name for octopus, which is also an. So these are the incorrect options and the correct answer to this question is option number three. Now let's proceed to the next question. Question number 152. Select the incorrect match. The very first option given is the lanoglossus and the match given is triploblastic non-chordate. And as it is a correct match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Belanoglossus, which is commonly known as tongue worm, belong to the phylum Hemichordata. And the animals belong to this phylum are triploblastic and non-chordate. The next option given is tusk shell. And the match given is chitinous shell secreted by mentin. And as it is an incorrect match, so this is the correct answer to our question. Because in mollusks, mental secrete calcareous skeleton and not chitinous exoskeleton. So this is an incorrect match and is a correct answer to our question. The next option given is sea lily. It is an echinoderm. And the match given is absence of excretory system. And as it is a correct match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because echinoderms lack excretory system. The last option given is ascaris and the match given is sexual dimorphism. And as it is also a correct match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Ascaris, which belong to the phylum Eschihelminthes, exhibit sexual dimorphism in which males are shorter than females. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 153. Vucraria is characterized by, and the very first statement is, presence of bilateral symmetry but lack of metamerism. And as it is a correct statement, so this is a correct answer to our question. Vucraria, which is commonly known as filarial worm, belongs to the phylum Eschihelminthes and it exhibits bilateral symmetry. but lack metamerism or segmentation. The second statement is presence of excretory pore that eliminates waste of elementary canal. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because excretory pores removes body wastes. Whereas it is the terminal end of the digestive tube or digestive tract, which is anus, through which this organism eliminates its waste from elementary canal. The next statement is presence of true silome and segmentation. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because Bucharia, which belongs to the phylum Eschihelminthes, are pseudosilomates and not true silomates. And they also lack metamerism. The last statement is absence of both body cavity and symmetry. And as it is an incorrect statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question because filarial worm or bucraria is a bilaterally symmetrical organism. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 154. Read the given statements. Statement A is locusta is considered as gregarious arthropod and it is a correct statement and the next statement is this pest has joint appendages and attacks crops in a group and this is also a correct statement 
This locusta is an economically harmful insect and it belongs to the phylum Arthropoda and is characterized by the presence of jointed appendages. So as it belongs to the phylum Arthropoda, is characterized by the presence of jointed appendages and this locusta is very dangerous for the crops. It causes heavy damage to the vegetation and as it lives in groups of same individual but do not help one another so they are known as gregarious organisms. So the second statement that they attack crops in a group is a correct explanation for the very first statement that is they are considered as gregarious R support. R supports because they have jointed appendages. Now select the correct option. The very first option is statement A is incorrect and this is an incorrect option. Statement B is incorrect. This is also an incorrect option. Statement B explains statement A and as it is a correct option so this is a correct answer to our question because both the statements are correct and statement B correctly explains statement A. The last option is statement B does not explain statement A and this is an incorrect option. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 155. Digestion is both extracellular and intracellular egg. Very first option given is dioecious flatworms and this is an incorrect option because dioecious flatworms such as cystosoma. Which is a dioecious flatworm exhibits only extracellular digestion and not intracellular digestion. The next option is com jellies, and as it is a correct option, so this is a correct answer to our question because com jellies are tenophores and they exhibit both extracellular as well as intracellular digestion. The next option is all triploblastic organisms and this is an incorrect option because in triploblastic animals such as Eschihelminthes, extracellular digestion is observed. These esky helminths are the animals with well-developed muscular pharynx. So last option is also incorrect that animals with well-developed muscular pharynx know because they have extracellular digestion. So the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's proceed to the next question. 